Hello Gemini, this is Devs and this is your reading for April 2024. Gems, I hope you're well. It's fantastic to be with you. Now Gemini, I <laughs> came out of meditation and I had to smile to myself because I simply saw two people standing opposite each other, both with their arms crossed in defiance. I feel, Gemini, we've got stalemate. <laughs> two people aren't budging. I believe, Gem, we've got one person here who is convinced that the other person was unfaithful and the other person is angry because they didn't actually do anything wrong. So, Gemini, I feel as if the truth of this is a little bit clouded. It might be that two people live at a distance, some kind of distance, it might be that someone saw a post on social media and got the wrong idea. It could be that a third person in the mix caused problems. And it might have been for a reason. Whatever this is, Gem, I think this can be sorted. I think this can be rectified. But both of you need to give in, lower your defences and have a proper conversation. I feel at the moment both of you are in your separate corners, absolutely determined not to speak to the other person. But if you continue in that way, Gem, nothing can be resolved. So with that said, guys, let's get into this and see what comes through. The deck that I'm using is the Sanctus Concordia. If you want a private reading, my website is down below. All the decks I use and the link to join the channel if you're interested. All right, Gemini. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Geminis. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What have you got for April 2024? Yeah, we've got two very stubborn people here in, in the nicest sense, right? I'm not going to speak to them. I'm not going to speak to them. They got it all wrong. We got stalemate. Yeah. But I feel that somewhere along the line, there was a miscommunication, a misunderstanding. Someone saw something and built up in their mind what might have been a little bit of light flirtation, nothing more than that, but the other person took it incredibly seriously. Mm. Eight of Swords. So Gemini, air energy, this is you in your head. You may not know what to do. You may not know what decision to make. Yes, Eight of Cups. Do you walk away from this? Do you stick it out? You don't know what to do. You don't want to be taken for a fool, Gemini. You don't want to feel as if the other person's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. But I feel as if, Gem, you don't actually know the truth. You may have told your person that you found out the truth, but you may know in your heart of hearts that you're not certain, right? It may be a bit of hearsay. In the past, with the Three of Wands, you may have been dating somebody at a distance. You and your person could have lived a little bit of a distance away. You were very excited about this relationship in the past, Gem. You had high hopes. You really wanted this to move forward. You wanted this to be successful. One of you may have been talking to the other about moving at some point, but I feel in the past you two just decided to see how things went. After that time, Gemini, with the King of Pentacles, I think your person who is coming through as a King of Pentacles, maybe a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, told you that they wanted to commit. This is serious. I don't want to be with anyone else. Let's work on our future. And Gem, you were all in. 
all in. What you're thinking about now is the past, Seven of Pentacles. You may have invested quite a lot of time into this relationship. You might have been with each other quite a while. What you're thinking about is it's too much to let it go. But you don't want to put any more effort into this if you feel you can't trust your person. It's a dilemma. What do I do? In the immediate future, Ten of Pentacles. Gemini, you're thinking about the concept of long-term commitment. Is this really going to work or am I wasting my time? Should I try and rebuild this? Should I cut my losses and move on? You're really thinking about this. In your fears, Gemini, Nine of Pentacles. Gem, you may be fearful that if you push this person away very quickly, they'll be snapped up by somebody else. You may know that. And you're also fearful, Gemini, of letting this person go because the Gemini I'm connecting with really wants a long-term relationship. You don't want to be sat back in the Nine of Pentacles. You don't want to have to go through the whole dating thing all over again, Gem. You're very conscious that you don't want to cut off your nose despite your face. You don't want to make the wrong decision and look back in regret. Your person's energy, Gemini, four of swords. They're pulling back from you to do some thinking as to how to manage this. They don't quite know, Gemini, exactly what went wrong between the two of you, but what they do know is that you've detached. It might be something you saw on social media. It could be gossip. It could be something someone said to you. And I think you made the decision to walk away. I believe your person is sat in confusion. What exactly happened here? So as far as they're concerned, Gemini, this is someone who isn't quite understanding why you're so upset. In your hopes, the devil, you may be hoping to make it work with a Capricorn, very simple, or you're hoping, Gemini, if you give this person a chance to speak their truth, you're not going to find out that they were involved with somebody else. You're hoping, Gemini, they're not sat in toxic energy. In the outcome, Gemini, Seven of Cups. This can be emotional confusion. It can be looking at options. Michael wants me to leave it at that. Okay. Clarification for you. Page of Wands. I think, Gemini, you saw or heard something. And I think it made you angry. And there was an argument. Five of Wands. It may have made you nervous. It could be to do with you feeling as if there was competition. Maybe somebody was running after your person and it was a bit of a shock. Your person is sat in the Four of Swords. Page of Pentacles. They're sort of waiting patiently, Gemini. I'm hearing for you to calm down so you guys can have a conversation. They want to come back. Gemini, Six of Cups. They're sitting remembering times that you spent together. I don't think they want to let this go. But Gemini, you seem to be very angry about something. Underneath the deck. Wow, okay. Queen of Swords. I may be connecting with a feminine Gemini. Two of Swords. Gemini, you may have blocked this person. You may. Because you felt with the Eight of Pentacles that they were working on a passionate new start with somebody else. You may have been nervous about someone this person worked with. Or it could be simply, Gemini, you got the wind up somehow that your person may have been interested in a third party. 
So at the moment, there's silence, stalemate, neither of you are speaking, you're both defiantly holding back and not communicating. Which, of course, is not going to get you anywhere, but I feel you're both dealing with very strong emotions. Gemini, you may have been angry with your person, but deep down you're probably very upset. I think your person is sitting in a place of confusion, simply wanting to talk. All right, that's where the reading starts, Gem. Let's see where this goes. Archangel Michael, why is Gemini sat in the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups? You're in your head, you've walked away, and you don't quite know what to do from this point onwards. You can't make a decision whether or not to say to your person it's totally over or whether or not you should hear them out. You don't know what to do. Yeah, two of wands. You're standing at crossroads. Should I give this person the chance to sort of state their case? Or should I simply close the door and walk away? It's your decision, Gemini, and you know it. What else are you thinking about, Gem? The Ten of Cups. I think, Gemini, you both dreamed of building a life together, maybe getting married, having kids. It was the future plan, but something went wrong and there was a big argument. The moon. Gemini, you're not quite sure what to do here. You're fearful of making the wrong decision. You're sad in fear, but you also know you've got deep feelings for whoever this is. With the moon energy, you could be thinking about a Pisces or a Cancerian. The Five of Cups. There's a lot of sadness, Gemini, but I want to say that you may be looking at the situation negatively when you don't know all the facts. What are you thinking about, Gemini? Okay, eight of wands. There was a massive argument which I feel led to you two disconnecting. So that's where it started. So Gemini, let's go back to the past, Three of Wands. You were very happy in this connection. There may have been a little bit of sadness because I think you two live at some kind of distance. I don't think you live close by. But I think you were both determined to make this happen. We're gonna do this, we wanna to be together. I don't wanna be with anyone else, that sort of thing. So in the past, Gemini, everything was fine. Yeah, you were both sitting in the sun, really happy, having met each other, realising that you didn't want to be with anyone else. But the sun can also be distance. So it may well be that the only issue between the two of you was the fact that you two lived apart and maybe at substantial distance. In the past, Gemini, I think you both felt that it wouldn't be too much of an issue. You may have regularly traveled to and from each other's houses. Maybe one weekend, Gemini, you went to your person's house and then they visited you. It was doable. It worked in the past, Gemini, and I feel that you accepted the situation, is what I'm hearing from Michael. Knight of Cups, there was a lot of love between the two of you. And I think after a certain period of time, Gemini, your guy sitting in the King of Pentacles said to you, this is it. I want to spend my life with you. I want to build a beautiful home with you. We are working on this together. And you agreed. Yes, this is all good, Gem. Mm hmm. Yeah, justice. Talking to you about a legal contract, he may have been saying to you, one, at some point, I'm going to move and get a job in your area. Or maybe you were saying to him at some point, I will get a job in your area, live together under the same roof and plan our future. So that's what you did, Gem. 
Yeah, because you were both in love. Two of Cups. Temperance. You were coasting, knowing that neither of you wanted to be with anyone else. It was a done deal. It was simply a matter of time until you two could come together and get the show on the road, right? So Gemini, now you're sat in the Seven of Pentacles, you're looking at the past. You're looking at what was. You're remembering the good times, Gem. You're also remembering an argument and you're not quite sure what to do from this point onwards. I believe, Gem, with the Two of Swords, you may have blocked your person and you're trying to figure out what you want to do. Your person's sat in confusion. They are simply waiting for you to reach out. So what else are you thinking about, Gem? Let's have a look. Seven of Pentacles. The Hermit. You could be thinking of a Virgo. You could be thinking that you miss this person. You're doing a lot of reflecting on the past and you're thinking about what you want for the future. I think, Gem, if the truth were known with a Six of Swords, you want to heal this. I think you miss him. But it's almost as if you don't want him to know that in case what you heard was true, is the way it's coming through. So there may have been a rumour. You may have seen something or heard something. But you're still held back, Gemini. Yeah, this is your card of the lovers. Because you somehow believe that your person got involved with somebody else. There is a choice that your person has to make. Gem, I've got to be honest. I don't see that in your person's energy. They're simply waiting, hoping that you're going to reach out because they want to come back to you. They're also healing because they may feel, Gemini, you got the wrong end of the stick. They may feel, Gemini, that you accuse them of something that they didn't do. So they're simply waiting for your decision, Gem, because I feel you're the one that cut off. So, Gem, you're thinking about the Ten of Pentacles. Could we make this work? Should I reach out and have a serious conversation with my person? I miss them. I feel it's time because this is a lot to throw away if I'm not certain of exactly what happened. You know, your person, Gemini, is simply sitting there waiting for you to communicate. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords coming through for Gemini? Thank you, Michael. OK, thank you, Michael. 19th of April, so pretty soon, guys, to the 11th of June. OK. Within that period of time, Gemini, I think you two are going to come together for a chat. I think you've got to. I think you both want to underneath. Let's start off with having a look at your person's energy. Gemini, I'm getting a deep sense of sadness. What is this person thinking about? The tower. Gemini, they are still sad in disbelief that this has actually happened. Which kind of tells me that they don't really understand what went wrong. They don't really understand what went wrong, Gem. Nine of Swords. They're having sleepless nights. They don't quite know what to do. Wow. They feel, Gemini, as if you were told some kind of truth. And whatever you were told caused this ending. They're worried this is completely done, but I do get a sense that they don't quite know why. What could you have possibly have found out to cause you to block them? To say that's it, they don't know. They genuinely don't know. Oh, Jem, the world. And they're very confused about how to sort this out with you because you two live at a distance. Bless this person, okay. Ten of Wands. They're not quite sure 
what to say. Because they feel that you're adamant that they cheated on you in some way. And that's why you're not talking to them. But Gemini, I can't see that there's anyone else in your person's energy to give me the impression that that was true. They may have been connecting with a friend from the past. It's the only thing I can see. Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups. But this might have been someone, Gemini, they knew when they were a child. So you may have got the wrong impression, perhaps. But they're distraught because they want you back, but you're not speaking. I'm getting a sort of, I don't know what to do type energy. This person feels helpless in figuring out how to make this right because, Gem, they didn't do anything wrong or so they feel, right? Yeah, they're heartbroken. How do they see Gemini, Michael? How do they view Gemini? Six of Wands. Gemini, I've got to be honest, the way they see you is you feel as if you found out the truth, you're victorious and you've blocked them and you don't care. Six of Wands. Which is upsetting them even more. They may feel you're wearing a false mask. They don't know if you truly are upset or whether or not you didn't care about them to begin with. They have no idea. But the way they see you behaving is you've moved on. That's it. The truth came out. I knew something was going on over there. So I'm leaving this behind. Right. Which Gemini, I don't think is right. I don't think that is how you feel. You're just sat in your head because you don't know the actual truth. But this is how they see you. How do you see them, Gemini? How do you view them? You think they cheated on you. Two of Pentacles. You think they juggled you with somebody else at a distance. You're convinced. You're absolutely convinced. You're convinced with the High Priestess that this person kept a secret from you and that secret was that they had a fling behind your back. But you don't know for sure. And with the energy of the Death card, that's why you ended it. But again, Gemini, why do I feel you've got the wrong end of the stick? Scorpio energy there. Are you going to reach out to this person, Gemini? Because they're waiting. The magician. I think, Gemini, first of all, you want to manifest the truth. What actually went on. You want to manifest the truth before you make a decision. Yeah, page of swords. You want to know exactly what happened. Because for some reason, Gem, you don't feel you can take your person's word for it. Now, is that telling me that you don't trust them, potentially? And of course, that's an issue. What is the actual truth, Michael? What is the actual truth? Did Gemini's person do something that they shouldn't? Did they pull in a third party? The King of Swords. No, Gemini, I have to be honest. I think this person's telling you the truth. That they're loyal to you, Four of Wands. This is someone who plans on getting engaged to you, moving in together. This is somebody who sees their future with you. What do they want with Gemini in the future? Let's just check, guys, right? Yeah, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. They hope to move this forward into a very serious relationship. They could be thinking of moving closer to you. They're wanting equal give and take, Gemini. This person isn't messing around with anybody else. They're hanging on to you, Gemini. They're holding back. 
because they may feel you're angry with them, but they don't want to let you go. Gemini, I don't think this person's involved with anyone else. Not in the way that you think. I don't know, they might have liked a post on another woman's Instagram or Facebook page and you saw it and got suspicious. So I have to say, Gemini, is this you imagining something that didn't actually happen? You're trying to manifest the truth. Well, the truth is, this person loves you. They want to be with you. I mean, yes, they may have communicated with somebody they knew a long time ago from childhood. But I don't feel that there's any indication here that they cheated on you with that person. They're a friend. Page of Pentacles. So did you get the wrong idea? Maybe. Now, guys, if you know for sure that your person cheated, this is not your reading. I am dealing with a Gemini who cut off from their partner because they heard something or saw something that made them suspicious and made the decision based on feelings of suspicion and mistrust. So, Gem, what are you saying to your person? Yeah, OK, there's going to be another argument. You're flying in left of centre. I want to know the truth. What actually happened? Oh, Gemini. You're calling this person out. You betrayed me. Seven of Swords. I think you were unfaithful. You went behind my back. Oh, really, Gem? Seriously? Oh, my goodness. Knight of Wands, you're calling this person a player. But Gemini, I've got to be honest, my beautiful gems, where is your proof? Because as far as I can see, this person didn't do anything wrong. What is your person saying when you say all that, Gemini? Yeah, I felt it. Knight of Pentacles, I love you, I want to be with you. I'm committed to you. Gem. Nine of Wands. I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to do to prove to you that I'm telling you the truth, but I am. What are you going to say? The Hangman. Gemini, you may be saying to this person, I really want to believe you. I want to see your point of view. But the trust is the issue here, Gemini. As long as you two are in this long distance situation, there are always going to be trust issues. And that, I think, is something you two really need to work on. You need to discuss this. The Strength card could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces. Gemini, I think what you're going to say to your person is that you want to give this another shot. You want to see if you can sort this out. Because I don't think you really want to let this go. And this person is desperately trying to hang on to you. I think they're very sad and upset. And I think, Gem, you're sad and upset because you got it into your head that your person was unfaithful. Let's have a look at the energy between you guys. What is the energy? The star. There's hope for this connection, Gem. There's hope that this can be healed. I think you guys need to come together. If you're both living in separate areas, I think the divine is saying, come together and talk, meet up and talk. When you see your person again, Gem, you're going to realise that they want you back. They may say to you, Gem, I'm sorry you got the wrong idea. I wasn't thinking. They may have liked a post from someone and you saw this person as, I don't know, a young girl and she looked quite attractive and you got all up in your head. Whatever happened here, Gem, I think your person's telling you the truth. So, Gem, the final card is a seven of cups. I think you two are going to look at ways of getting closer. 
It may be if you saw each other once a month, you're going to try and see each other once every couple of weeks. It might be that you book a holiday together. It might be that you do a lot more FaceTime. It may be, Gemini, that you say to your person, look, you know, just to put my mind at rest, I want us to be a couple openly on social media. Because you may feel, Gemini, if there's any future question marks, any third parties who may be tempted on either side are going to see that both of you are together. You may make a pact to do that. One or the other of you may not feel it's really necessary, but I think it's actually important. So on social media, you're seen as a couple, you're seen as being in a relationship, a serious connection. You're going to look at ways of cementing this relationship whilst you two live apart. And hopefully, Gem, it's not going to be forever. All right. So what have we got, Gem? Yeah, Page of Cups. I think once you guys have cleared the air, which you're going to do, you're both going to feel a lot better. There could be an apology on both sides. I think there's going to be some I love you's. Judgment. Gemini, you're both going to be making a decision to concentrate on this relationship. Let's not let anyone else get involved. Let's not cause fears and doubts and insecurities and misunderstandings to come between us again. You're both making a pact about that. You may be making the decision, Gemini, to communicate a lot more with each other, right? Yeah, and you're going to be working in partnership to rebuild the foundation of this connection. This is lovely, Gem. This is what you needed. You two needed to have a straightforward sit-down conversation. Wheel of Destiny. Both of you know this is right. You're moving forward into a fresh cycle, which I feel, Gemini, is going to bring you a lot of happiness in the future. You're going to be finding a way of spending a lot more time together, Gem, I think, too. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Happiness coming together. This is a new cycle of you two talking things through, introducing each other to your friends. Maybe, Gemini, if this person was the person that you felt was a third party, your guy may introduce you to this person. Oh, yeah, meet so-and-so. Mm -hmm. This is the person you thought I had a fling with. Yeah, I've known this person since I was a child. This is going to smooth over, Gem. What else are you guys going to be talking about, Gem? Empress. Oh, wow. If you're of the age, you guys may be talking about trying to live under the same roof so you can start a family, so you can maybe talk about getting engaged. Gemini, your person is serious. They really want this with you. I feel it's time for you to leap forward into the next phase of this connection. You guys are going to be getting serious. Yeah, three of cups. You may be talking to this person about introducing them to your family, your parents, that sort of thing. You guys are coming together in celebration. Yeah, Gemini Hierophant. There could be talk about getting hitched. <laughs> you may be talking about what type of wedding both of you would want. I feel both of you, though, are wanting this to move forward in a traditional way. Moving in together, getting engaged, that sort of thing, talking about setting a wedding date. Your person could be a Taurus or have Taurus in their chart. You could. You could have Taurus in your chart. I feel your person's ready, Gemini. Really ready. Yeah, goodness me. Emperor, Empress. For some of you, Gem, this was meant to be. You two are supposed to come together in this beautiful relationship. This is all divinely guided. I think this was just a bump in the road that was caused by a lot of high emotions and the fact that you two couldn't spend a lot of time together. But everything's changing. Okay, final card for Jen, Michael. Thank you. Ace of Cups. I think Gemini, this signifies 
self-love. I also feel it signifies the renewal of the love between the two of you. Both of you are realising that this could have ended in disaster simply because neither of you were opening up to communicate. So I think, Jen, because you're deciding to communicate, you will save this relationship. And I don't think you're ever going to let that happen again. And I think both of you are going to look back and be thankful that you both lowered your defences and came together to communicate. Yeah. So, Jem, I'm leaving the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if this is your story in the comments. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Gemini.